in fetal life, blood from the baby is pumped through the aorta and then the umbilical cord to the placenta where it picks up oxygen and nutrients and gets rid of waste products. Well oxygenated blood from the placenta is returned through the umbilical cord to the fetus. The ductus venosus is a short vessel in the fetal liver which directs the majority of oxygenated blood to the heart and from there to the brain. The ductus venosus usually closes within a few minutes after birth. For correct assessment of ductus venosus flow, the fetus should not be moving, the image should be big so that the fetal thorax and abdomen occupy the whole screen, and color flow should be used to demonstrate the umbilical vein, ductus venosus, the aorta, and the fetal heart. The waveform obtained can be classified on the basis of the A wave into positive or normal or reversed, abnormal. At 11 to 13 weeks, abnormal waveform is observed in about 3% of chromosomally normal fetuses and in 65% of fetuses with trisomy 21. However, the vast majority of fetuses with abnormal waveform are normal and have a normal pregnancy outcome.